fatty liver. What is that? What does it mean? And how do I get rid of it? But before I get into all that, my name is Megan Ritz and I'm a PA. I specialize in obesity medicine and bariatric surgery, but my passion really is helping patients understand root cause of their disease and start addressing that with not only medications, but importantly, with lifestyle. So fatty liver is just an easier way of saying MAFLD, metabolically associated fatty liver disease. It is actually quite common. In fact, some studies reference up to 40% of the adult population in the United States has MAFLD. MAFL develops when there's too much fat buildup in the liver, and this is because of metabolic changes in the body where your body can't use energy efficiently. This is associated with things like type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance, high cholesterol, also a diet that is high in sugars and processed foods like fast foods, and not moving your body enough. We're also understanding that a poor microbiome in your gut can cause inflammation in the liver and lack of sleep and stress, that also can contribute. MAFLD is what we call a silent disease. Many times you don't have any symptoms, you don't even know you have it until maybe your provider gets some labs or some imaging, and now we see that there are some changes. A big deal because it can lead to liver scarring, cirrhosis, fibrosis, maybe even hepatocellular carcinoma. Things not to scare you, but just to help you appreciate that we should address this and we do need to help patients understand ways to do that. The good news is if you treat it early, it is reversible before the scarring and the damage in the liver happens. And the best way to do this is to look at lifestyle. Start moving your body, increasing activity, changing nutrition to get rid of some of those processed foods, reduce the sugars in the diet, also helping with weight loss. A 5 to 10% weight loss can really help improve the liver function and health. And don't forget sleeping better, treating sleep apnea, addressing stress. And if you want to work on gut health, eat more fiber. So I'm going to say that word one more time. MAFLD. It's more common than you think, but also more treatable than you realize. So if you've been given this diagnosis, have hope. Your liver doesn't ask for much, maybe just a little less sugar and some more movement. Think about habits you're doing now and ways you can amend those to incorporate some better ones that might support your liver health.